We're recording? All right. All right, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate a needle crank. So needle crank is in the protocol where I work, preferably for children. Um, and we'll kind of see why when we hook up the BVM, there's not a whole lot of oxygen delivery for our adult patients. We prefer to use the quick trick or uh, some kind of crank kit. Um, but needle crank is a good backup method. It's a little bit easier to do. It uh, causes a little less bleeding. It's a little bit easier to hit your target. Um, so supplies you'll need, you'll need your BVM. Um, you'll need a 14 gauge needle. A 10 cc syringe which is optional and then you have a size three or three and a half tube adapter um, so this is kind of the more specific thing that you would need so we have our needle crank kit already set up to have a size three tube adapter in here so we've just taken this off an et tube and then we place it with our 14 gauge catheter in a little bag so we have it ready to use um, but this will hook into the catheter and then you can hook up your bvm so this allows you to hook up the needle cath to the bvm to deliver oxygen so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your landmarks. So we're aiming for the cricothyroid membrane. So we're going to find the thyroid cartilage or the Adam's apple. You'll feel a dip just below that, and then you'll feel the cricoid membrane. Um, you want to go the space in between those two hard membranes. So anyone can feel this on themselves if they just tilt their head back, it makes it a little easier. You'll feel your Adam's apple. You'll feel a little dip right below that. That's the membrane we're aiming for. And then you'll feel that cricoid cartilage. So we want to aim right in between there. Um, there still is uh, a pretty thick membrane, so it is a little hard to puncture through, um, but we're just looking for that little divot. Obviously on this mannequin, he's been used quite uh, many times for uh, cracking, so it's easy to find that landmark on. Next thing we would do is clean our area. Um, make sure you're using just whatever you use for cleaning, iodine, uh, alcohol, or chlorhexidine, uh, whatever you have available. With your 14 gauge needle, we're going to go more of on a 45 degree angle, um, kind of like, you know, think about the trachea being a vein and you're trying to hit that vein in, as the trachea, but it'll make it a little easier to advance the catheter if we do it more on a 45 degree angle. So I found my landmark. I'm going to go ahead bevel up on this 14 gauge. And I'm going to puncture through that membrane. Now you should feel a pop once you hit through the trachea. And you'll definitely feel that quite pop because it is still a thick membrane that you're going through. Once you feel that pop, you can advance just a millimeter or two more. And then you're going to advance just the plastic catheter forward and then pull the needle out. Just like you would for an IV. Um, next, to make sure that you do have good placement, you do have the option. You can hook up a 10cc syringe and draw back. Uh, you should get air or you should get blood mixed with air because sometimes this can cause a little bit of bleeding. Um, that's up to you. Just make sure if you do that, you are holding very tightly onto that needle cap because it's going to want to naturally push out. So make sure you're not letting go. We're going to take our size 3 ET tube adapter, put it right into the plastic catheter, and now we can hook up our BBM. Now, as you can see, you're pushing air through a very tiny catheter in comparison to some of our Craig kits. So you're not delivering a huge tidal volume of air. Um, and that's why it's more preferable for kids, especially infants. But it is better than having nothing. So it is still nice to have as a backup technique for cranking somebody. Lastly, you'll want to make sure you secure this somehow. So because we don't have any commercial devices to hold this in place, I would probably use some gauze to wrap around there and then a lot of tape.